What is your main protein source on slash off prep? I actually just posted a full day of eating and I say this several times, I'm a fish eater. I love fish, whether I'm on and off prep. I actually prefer fish to chicken any day. I'm definitely a fish eater. I like tilapia, I love salmon, I love cod. I would say fish and egg whites are probably my two main protein sources. I love egg whites because they're essentially flavorless and you can really make them taste however you want. So sometimes I'll include them in like a savory dish and sometimes I'll sweeten them up with like some cinnamon, some stevia and make a sweet dish with them. I also like to incorporate protein powders here and there. I use them to bake a lot. I'm not a big fan of drinking my calories so I don't necessarily drink a lot of protein shakes but I do use protein powders to bake with. My main protein powder of choice is the NLA for her, her way in vanilla cupcake, and the new flavor, oh my gosh, blueberry muffin. It is unbelievably so good. The chocolate eclair is good too, but I'm more of a vanilla person, which I find is kind of the rarity. Most people prefer chocolate over vanilla. What about you guys? Comment below if you're a chocolate or vanilla person. And if you've tried the new blueberry muffin protein from NLA for her, you know what I'm talking about. It is insane. What is your favorite flavored nut butter? Oh, 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 toffee crunch, nuts and more. 120,000%. I actually once tweeted that if Toffee Crunch Nut Butter was a man, I would have no shame taking him home and calling him again tomorrow. Do you follow any type of meal timing? I don't put strict time constraints on when I eat. I try to listen to my body and eat when I'm hungry. However, I do put timing into play as far as pre and post workout meals. I definitely try and get in a meal. 30 to 40 minutes before I train, that tends to be enough time for me to digest. Personally, I don't eat a super heavy meal before I train, and then I try and get in a meal pretty soon right after I train as well. Other than that, timing for me is just listening to my body, eating when I'm hungry, and making sure that I hit my macros throughout the day. What is your next goal, fitness, personal, and business? I've talked a lot about my goals for 2017, and one thing I did the other day was I sat down, I wrote them out on a giant piece of paper that I now have hanging on the fridge. I find that Creating visuals is one incredible way to not only motivate yourself to get started on those goals, but keep you on track and get you excited for them. So I'm gonna go actually grab that list so I can share them with you guys. I'll share a few of them with you. Business-wise, we'll start with that. I do have plans to develop and launch a training app mid-January, so I'm so excited about that. It's gonna be available on the App Store. It's gonna be a full training guide based on your goals and new training plans every four weeks coming at you. And it's super easy, accessible right on your phone with videos of me demonstrating the exercises. It's gonna be awesome. I'm so, so, so so excited about that. I have had thoughts and plans for a certain type of apparel, and that's not something that I'm gonna to share too much information about right now, but that's something that is on the outlook for 2017 and something that I'm excited about as well. My next goal is to put out about four YouTube videos a week with really great informational content for you guys. Some of my personal goals include reading through the entire Bible. I actually just bought myself a one-year study Bible and it breaks it down in readings every single day. My next goal is to volunteer with youth. A lot of you guys probably know I used to work as a school psychologist with young kids and I really miss working with kids and so I want to do what I can to give back to the youth. I actually just submitted my application to the Boys and Girls Club. My next goal is to do at least four public speaking engagements. That's my minimum. I would be happy and excited to do many more. I'll share one more with you guys and this one would be fitness related and my goal is to qualify for the 27 Olympia. Somebody asks how I deal with bloating. Just posted actually a video called How to Stop Bloating a few days ago, so go back on my channel if you're interested in how I deal with it and watch that video. I've gotten really good feedback from you guys on that video and I'm excited that you found it so helpful and informative, so go ahead and go back and watch that video if you have not already. When are Amanda and I coming to England? I don't personally have any plans to come to England right now. I hope to be there sometime in 2017. What's the three places you want to see in the world before you die and why? Ooh, I would love to go back to Australia and see more of it. Um, why? Because I absolutely fell in love with it when I was there and I only was able to see Melbourne and I loved it so, so, so much. Hopefully, um, if I get invited back to compete in the Arnold Classic Australia this year, I do plan to stay for another week after the show and explore and sightsee more of Australia. I'd love to go to Sydney and just explore the different cities. I fell in love with Australia when I was there and if it wasn't 
all the way on the other side of the world, that is definitely a place I could see myself living. I would love to go to Italy and actually spend some time in the city where my family was actually from. That would be so cool. I actually have only been to Malta, which is a small island off the coast of Sicily. I have not had a chance to go to Italy yet, so that is definitely on the top of my list. My third place, I'll say, isn't really necessarily a place per se, but I would love to do some sort of a mission trip with church where I'm able to go wherever that may be and give back. I think that that would be something that would be really, really cool. Top three, Australia, Italy, and some sort of a mission trip. Am I single? <laughs> yes, yes I am single. Following that up, somebody asks, what is your type? <laughs> I don't know that I necessarily have a type as far as looks go. Obviously, I would like a guy that takes care of himself and he's in the gym, makes health a priority just because of that's something that's important to me as well. I would say that I'm most attracted to ambition. I'm attracted to humor. Definitely have to be with someone who can make me laugh. I mean, I can only laugh at my own jokes so much, <laughs> and I do do that. Someone who's definitely goal-driven, and just has an excitement for life. Someone who maintains a positive outlook. Yeah, not every day is great, but I believe that you can find something great in every day. Being able to share that mindset with my significant other is something that's really important to me. I think you are who you surround yourself with, and like my shirt says, good vibes only. I like to surround myself with positive people. And if he can sing and play the guitar, then um, that's a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't into fitness, what would I be doing? Most of you guys know that my background is in psychology. I've mentioned this in several videos. So I may still be using my degree in some way as a psychologist, even though I still feel like I use it all the time in working with my clients now as my approach is overall well-being, mind, body, and soul. I've always joked that in my next life, I'm going to come back as a famous like DJ or singer, and no, I cannot sing, but maybe in my next life, or some like a Food Network star, something like that. I'm gonna end with one final question, and this is a really great question. Somebody asks, they'd like to know my mind said how I overcome difficult times. This person says that uh, they've wanted to start their fitness journey now for three years, but their circumstances are so bad and they keep getting distracted. One thing I will say, um, the timing to start something is never ever going to be perfect. I've said this before, but if you wait until you're ready or if you wait until the perfect time, you're going to end up waiting for the rest of your life. With certain things that you want to do, sometimes you really just have to put one foot right in front of the other and just go for it. You're never gonna have the perfect timing. The circumstances are never ever going to be perfect and that's just the reality of things. And that's why if we wait for those things to all fall in line and be perfect, getting started is never going to happen. I truly believe that if you really want something, you just have to go for it. Yeah, you're going to encounter setbacks. They're inevitable and they happen along any journey in life, but our strength truly is not defined from lack of moments of weakness or lack of setbacks. Our strength is defined by our ability to overcome them. And I wholeheartedly believe that. If it wasn't for all the times that I felt defeated or that I encountered setbacks and then got back up and kept pushing forward, I truly would not have the kind of strength that I have now to overcome certain adversities if it wasn't for all the setbacks and all the roadblocks that I've encountered. Set small goals and know that each small step and each small effort adds up to the big one. Don't expect extreme incredible results right away as it takes time. What keeps me going is continuing to set goals for myself but also reflecting back on where I started and knowing how far I've come. Be proud of your accomplishments. Like I said, even the smallest ones need to be celebrated because it is those small little everyday accomplishments that add up to the big ones. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Q&A. There were so many really great questions and I had a really good time answering them. If I missed your question or after watching this you have more questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below. Thank you guys as always so much for being here on my channel. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Love you guys.